Hi, Mr. Young here. Now in this tutorial we're going to get the sprite, in this case a parrot, uh, to move to the right and to move upwards. So, let's get started. First off, let's delete the cat sprite. And we're going to import that parrot, so choose new sprite from file. If you click here and just touch the P key, it takes you down to the first parrot, which is parrot A. OK. I'm going to come up and name the sprite Parrot. And now we're going to switch out of the scripts to the Costumes tab. And you can see here we've got Parrot A. Now the next step is to import Parrot B. OK. Now we've got the two costumes of the sprite to switch between them. That will make it look as if it's flying. Back to scripts. Now the first step is to add a control, so when clicks we want the parrot sprite to change look, so click here and this is the command switch to costume, so drag that across snap it in. Now we'll start with parrot A come to control, we want to wait a little bit of time, so wait 0.2 seconds and after 0.2 of a second we want to change the look again to parrot B. Now let's just test that. Double click. Yes, the bird's wings are flapping. Uh, but two things. I think the sprite's a little bit big. So come up to here, shrink sprite. Just clicking on the parrot to make it smaller. And also the parrot's not going anywhere, so we need to get some movement in. How do we do that? Come across to motion and drag the move carefully to just under the weight. Do you see that white line? It snaps in there. And then we'll come up to control, wait 0.2 seconds, back to motion, move 10 steps. Let's test it. Now if we actually run the script from here, all that happens is we get one step to the right and a flap. So we need to add a loop, a forever loop. We switch to control, pick up this forever, carefully drag it up to here. See the white line underneath when? Let's try now. Yep, we've got one flying bird. Okay, you'll go.